is each person in here tell the story of how you overcame corn. I think for the audience, that'd be really good. So okay. Mall Bills, Myron. Okay. Not, not me, of course, but you guys. <laughs> okay, well. Well, you had the worst problem of all of us. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> number one. Number one. Yeah. Uh, go, go, okay, who wants to go first? Uh, all right, Mo, take it off. Yeah, Mo. <laughs> Come, Mo Killer. We um, get, get drink that blood. No, he's cured. <laughs> Before we get into number one. Um, How'd you overcome the corn addiction? Well, actually, um, me and Bills, we were each other's accountability partners. Oh, okay. shit. Yeah. Okay, for corn. Yeah. Right. Y'all took uh, each other off? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding bro. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I almost walked out too, bro. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and Bills was actually each other's account accountability partners. Uh, we had a certain name. <laughs> yeah, 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 tell them the name. Tell them the name. Tell them the name. No, tell them the name. Yeah, because on the app, you can make a name for, like, the, like whatever you're quitting, bro. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> yo, they're going to they put this shit in the headlines, bro. But fuck it, I don't care. We actually we called it Big Balls Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny as fuck, bro. It, it was actually me, Bills, and uh, and we actually had a third friend. Uh, shout out to Huggy. Huggy, yo, yeah, Huggy. Huggy. Huggla, 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 Huggla. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so what'd you do? Uh, what well, we did, because we was mm. always just like uh, uh, beyond like the faith, the group FaceTime with each other. Yeah, and then. And we'll we we'll actually would like count the achievements. Oh wow! And we we'll, we would compete with each other's achievements, and make sure the other's not falling off from from the other. You know, and uh, that's huge, bro. Yeah. So yeah. again, it sounds weird, but guys, understand this is a real issue that men deal with, and as a result, we think it's normal, but it's not normal. Uh, what about you, Bills? Um, well, you know, honestly, nowadays, I don't really have that problem. I, it was really um, mm. during COVID when, you know, I wasn't really seeing bitches, wasn't really going outside. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that was really the most important thing. But um, honestly, going outside and going to the gym, bro, number one thing, like, go outside, go to the gym, work out every day. I promise you, like, that will motivate you. If you're still fapping and you're seeing bad bitches in the gym and, and you're not motivated, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, you should at least be working out every day. That's like... A mandatory. Be more busy. More Bills, importantly, you mentioned it, bro. Going outside—that is huge. Yeah. If you're outside, actively working on yourself, making connections, talking to people, fapping is the last thing on your mind, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. That's huge. And uh, good job on the app, by the way, uh, Mo. Yeah. Because it sounds funny, Big Balls Club, but hey, it worked. Yeah. Right? It, it worked. Yeah. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And it's good at yeah. accountability. My bad. Being held accountable yeah. for this is huge, by the way. Yeah. No. Um, huge. For me, what I did was. Uh, Kind of like some reverse psychology. Well, number one, I went out and approached more chicks. Yes. And then number two, this might be crazy, but I'm just going to say it anyway. You record your own goddamn videos. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could say that. I knew it. <laughs> right? That's yeah. gonna motivate you. You're like, yeah. all right, I'm gonna, I'm make my own goddamn videos. Fuck that shit. Okay. <laughs> so, um, what's your uh, corn star name? Me? Lord Gaines. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh and fit. I will not leave. I am better than you niggas. I say that to bitches when I smash them. Yeah, inferior three hundred four. We are not equal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man, yeah, uh, it's I, I call my porn shit uh, the San Nigga POV. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Yo, it's funny, bro. Oh man, Yo, you know what's crazy, bro? Yo, what? In an alternate universe, if we were scumbags or just didn't want to, you know, we didn't care about being hypocrites, we'd make an OnlyFans. Oh, we'd make so shit much money. Shit would be crazy, bro. bro we've gotten crazy, bro. We've Yo, gotten crazy offers we've to do offers that shit. too, bro. Yeah, for girls, companies, like yeah, just crazy, dog. We always said no. Beavis again, we up. Yeah, but <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, yeah, but no. Um, so cold approach, and you did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So cold approach, 
And I was like, I ain't watching porn. I'll make my own shit. Motivates you. And as it's, it's crazy as that sounds, it motivates you to get there, get out there and like, all right, I'm going to get uh, girls. And then um, going to the gym and training really hard. You guys would be surprised at going to the gym. How like, and, and I'm not saying just go to the gym. See, a lot of you guys go to the gym to just check a box. No, you need to go there and like actually work towards something, whether it's losing weight, gaining some muscle mass, uh, measuring your body um, dimensions every week or whatever. Like you need to go in there and train with an intention. Okay, there's there's between working out and training. When you're just working out, you're just checking a fucking box. You're going there. Okay, I exercise today, or and then training. When you're training, <coughs> excuse me, guys. When you're training, you have a purpose and you have a goal. When you have a purpose and you have a goal, it's a lot easier to stay focused and um, make sure that you hit that goal. And then also going outside. So when I first mo moved to Miami, I was out a lot more than I am now. Um, and that also forced me to be social, meet new people, also helps with like cold approaching, etc. getting out of my comfort zone. So having all these things, right? Basically, guys, what you're trying to do is kill random free time. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of y'all fapping when y'all go, oh, I got some 10 minutes, okay, I'm going to go fucking whack or whatever, 30 minutes, whatever the fuck. Like have less free time, that helps a lot. That's what I did when I moved out here. Well said. Uh, back in 2018. All right, number one. Okay, nigga, now you. <laughs> okay. What'd you do? Um, Cause you're a horn dog. Pause. Yeah, bro. I, I had a problem, man. I had a serious problem, bro. It was it, it was bad. Um, but nigga, I, going on three dates with girls, man. You, you two, <laughs> three dates a day and shit. When I first met him, bro, so I already knew yeah. this guy was a fucking horn dog. Um, so this is like tough because it's me getting like real here. Um, so I just tell the people, man. Tell yeah, the people, yeah, bro. Yeah. Cause there's someone probably that literally is do is just like you that needs the help. Yeah, cause um. You know, I'm Nigerian and all that shit, so, you know, I know the way to the girls' hearts and say that. I'm just kidding. But um, to be real, I, I had a problem because I would spend, like, hours, bro, doing this shit. Like, adding up during the week, like, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there. Damn. Multiple times a day. Damn. And I think for most people, they're not that, they're not crazy, but, like, I was that crazy. And um, I just added up. I was like, damn, I'm spending, like, hours... <laughs> <laughs> a month doing this shit, and like, I'm not no, no, this is, no, 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 this is real yeah, talk though. Yeah, like, yeah, yo, yeah. someone needs yeah. to hear this, man. Yeah. So, I mean, I was wasting a lot of time, and then, you know what? I was, you're yeah, broke. I'm, I'm actually broke. I'm not going to where I want to be. I'm not even talking to girls like that. I'm just like losing. Is this Chick Fil A days? Actually, yeah, uh, a little bit into that. Yeah, a little bit. Chick Fil A during the day, and then Fat Fillet at night. Be <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny, be funny, man. <laughs> You're funny, cause <laughs> <laughs> you're funny, bro. Cause remember, I was focused, bro, right? So no, I, because I, cause I know this nigga had a, a fucking addiction. Cause like I, this nigga was always around bitches. Like yo, yo, this dude fresh man, literally built his day around hoes. So I was like, man, I did, I did. this nigga, this nigga, like when I first met him, he was going on three to five dates with girls. I was like, yo. For you to have the energy to sit there and deal with women all day like that, you got to be a horn dog. Like, you got to be. Like, this nigga's got to be fucking on some crazy shit, man. This nigga was probably a super fapper before I mean, that shit. I, I, I mean, Chick-fil-A, that was his nigga, pleasure. Yeah, bro. Like, goddamn, man. <laughs> Anyhow. So I already knew. So, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Overcoming this, right? Yeah, how'd you overcome it, nigga? I just knew I spent too much time on this shit. And, again, I was not successful I wasn't where I wanted to be. I, I was in a very dark place. So, like I said before, I came to America. I, fo I was focusing um, a lot on work, trying to get my money up. But, you know, I was working all this time, and I was just like, fuck, because it's easier. But then I realized, if I don't make a change now, bro, the time I spend doing this, I, most millionaires, they spend time focusing on their skills, becoming better. And my, my guy and I came to America uh, years before, worked at a factory for overtime, multiple jobs, didn't give up. And I know he wasn't jerking off. He was with his wife, right? Just say, you know what? If I don't make a change now, I'm not going to pass my granddad and excel and be, be better than him. So I looked at things I could do to kind of like avert this um, issue. And one was talking to girls, 100%. Now, obviously speaking, I wasn't that, like, that, that guy back then. I was, you know, skinny, out of shape, started like a motherfucker. It was bad. So but I realized, though, going out with my friends and actually getting rejected helped because at least I was gaining confidence and gaining experience to move forward. And I got pretty good at it. I got good at like talking to girls, bringing the environment, bringing the game, whatever, and start getting some progress. Back in those days, I was smashing grunts. BBWs, <laughs> what I could. You know, grunts? the random three or fours. Yo, you said that was my playing field. Yeah, but grunts? over time. Nigga was smashing some whales. It, I, I was, bro. Yeah. I was called <laughs> Free Willy. Um, <laughs> oh. But I put confidence, right? And with confidence, 
I gained reassurance that, you know what, if I just focus on, you know, work, skills, being an entrepreneur, and then I get girls every now and then, I'll be fine. So, number one was talking to girls. And then two, I had a accountability partner. Now, I won't say who it was. Yo, someone said you fapped a couple shades off your meat. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all Rumble, man? <laughs> I'm looking at this Rumble chat like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, hell, the girls don't yeah. complain at all. Yo. Nope. Girls actually nope. don't complain. Nigga fat so much his penis is actually regular black, man. Goddamn. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you guys, man? So, yeah. One was talking to the girls. And then two, yeah. like I said before, was actually realizing, you know what? Making a change. So, I had an accountability partner. And uh, I didn't tell him what I was doing, per se. I just said, yo, bro. If I feel like I need to talk to somebody, pick up the phone. And I did. And it was after I did all my work, after working my second job, after going out. I was home alone, maybe like 12, you know, midnight. Yo, bro, no homo. I'm going to call you real quick. I talk about business, talk about advice, about, you know, girls, all that shit like that. Hang up the phone, go to sleep. So that kept me off of doing corn for like a minute. And then you add in me going out to events, me too tired to come home from uh, after work sometimes. So being busy... Talking to girls, yeah. having a partner to be accountable to, helped me a lot. So those three, three things helped me overcome porn and sorry, corn. And then when I got more advance, more money, more confidence, what I do? Up my game. Talking to fives, sixes, now sevens, now eights and nines. Mm. So I th again, you start small, it's a major issue, but over time, if, you, if you're smart about it, you're focused on, on it, you can avoid jerking off. Bam. So, all right. Um, and then, uh, 